Hey everybody, I guess I'm not the only one that thinks the Rams are the greatest show on turf part two. Fox News was calling them the greatest show on turf last night during Thursday night's game. The only problem is I got to call it part two because I still have nightmares of Flipper Anderson catching the ball and running right into the tunnel. Game over. Hey, good morning, everybody. How you doing? I'm only going to really tell you what I think about two games, one on Sunday and Monday Night Football. Of course, Sunday's game, you know I'm going to pick my beloved New York Giants. I don't know why you would think that I would show any kind of favoritism whatsoever, but they're three and a, and a half point underdogs at home. Now, the Saints are owned for against the spread in the last four games when they are favored by three and a half to 10 points. And guess what? They're favored as of now by three and a half points. They're also 11 and five against the spread in the last 16 games after a straight up win. Now they did win in overtime, but I would call that a straight, straight up win. They are two and five against the spread after accumulating 250 yards or more passing in their previous game. Check. So you would think that I'd be leaning towards the Saints. But think again. Now, my beloved Giants are 0-5 against the spread in the last three games after a straight-up win. They're 9-2-1. I hate that freaking one against the spread in their last 12 games in Week 4. They're also 4-1 against the spread in their last five games it's three and a half to 10 point underdogs. And they're seven and three against the spread in their last 10 games is home underdogs with a spread of, guess what? Between three and a half and 10 points. Now we know right now they're three and a half point underdogs. Now, come on, we all know Drew Brees is truly a beast. I don't know how he keeps doing it. I mean, he, he also has been known to drive the Giants nuts. But he's coming in 104 out of 129 attempts, 1,078 yards, 8 TDs, and 0 interceptions, and a rating of 122.2. Ugh, I hate it. But don't count Eli out. It's not any, it's not great like Drew Brees, but He's 81 to 110, 800 yards, three TDs, one pick, and a 99.1 rating. Now, we do have that revamped offensive line. I think it's only going to get better as they gel. So I think Eli's stats are going to go up higher and higher. Now, don't forget, we have Odell, and we got Barkley, and we're going to be fine on offense. I'm just hoping it's not going to turn into a shootout like last night's Ram Vikings. I mean, talk about a shootout. But you know what? I think we could win a shootout. So if you haven't figured out, I can't get the pillow. Oh, that's a Ranger pillow. Oh, if you haven't figured out, I pick my Giants. The Giants are going to win this Sunday. I think it's 4.30 in the afternoon but I'm picking the Giants. And if you haven't figured it out yet, I'm always gonna pick the Giants. Hey everybody, don't forget, do me a big favor, check on my buddy, check. Click on my buddy's sites, I'll list them in the description below. He's got very, very interesting information. I mean, he also posts other guys stuff on his Twitter and his Instagram. I mean, I'll have it all linked in the description below right after the links to my sites, but you know, of course I'm going to go first. I'm the one doing all the work. Come on, Mike. Get real. And also, Mike, I apologize for uh, picking the Rams over your Vikings, although they didn't cover the spread. So, like I said, anybody that watches this, it might be advisable to do the opposite 
of my picks. And plus, this is really only for entertainment purposes only. But wink, wink, you can't see I'm wearing glasses. But I kind of think about doing the opposite of what I say. But it's still early yet. We're only in week four. Now, the other game I'm going to go with, like I said, is the Monday night game. Chiefs against the Broncos in Denver. The Broncos are four and a half point underdogs. And they're one and eight against the spread following a straight up loss. And they're two, seven, and two. Where do these twos come from? They should like fight to the finish. I mean, they're doing it in hockey. Baseball, you know what? You play till somebody wins. It should really be that way in football. But right now it's not. So they're two, seven, and two on Monday night games. They're also zero and six against the spread is underdogs when the spread is between three and a half and ten points. And guess what they are? Four and a half. I don't see it dropping below three and a half. I don't really see it going above ten either. So we're going to say they're right in the middle. Now, the Chiefs are seven and three against the spread in the last ten games when their favorites on the road, three and a half to ten points. And I just told you, four and a half. They're also 10 and 4 against the spread in their last 14 games as road favorites. And finally, they're 6 and 1 against the spread in their last seven games versus the AFC. So now, on top of that, let's go over their last meetings. The last meeting, it was the Chiefs won 27 24. And the last five meetings, though, they took three out of five, the Chiefs. So, I mean, it's eh. But now, let's talk about the quarterback. Now, Patrick Mahomes, I don't even know if I say the guy, poor guy's name right, but it's going to be a household name if he keeps this crap up. He's on fire. He's 62 of 93. Not all that great, but 896 yards, not Drew Brees-like, but catch this crap. He's got 13 TD passes, zero interceptions, and a 137.4 rating. Now, poor Case Keenum, he's 66 for 108, 743 yards, three TDs, these five interceptions. You know, the poor guy, five INTs with a 71.6 rating. So now, you know, I got to go with the hot hand and KC and Mahomes. So, my pick for Monday Night Football is the Chiefs over the Broncos. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe. Come back tomorrow. Have a nice day. <laughs> what? Walnut allergy? Yep. Hey everybody. If you like what you're seeing on my channel, do me a real big solid. Click here. Maybe it's here. Or up here, somewhere here. And then if you really want to see some more of my videos, check them out over here. Or up here, or down a little lower. Either way, just click everything for me, alright? Have a good one. I'm out.